But it was, in fact, um, can I have another one of these? Because I'm going to go through this. Not a, and I know why, because we have someone in common. Yeah. Al Alvarado. Why do I know that name? Speech enough? therapist? Oh, yes. <laughs> Same guy. I didn't know he told me this. <laughs> yeah, well, he got me to this. I just, I left his office and promptly forgot everything. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I had two nodule surgeries. Yeah. I'm screaming at audiences. All right. I, I had, they said, no, nah, leave it alone. It was a callus. Okay. I think I'm sorry to say, he had a callus on his vocal cords. That's just a wonderful thing <laughs> yeah. to know about yourself. It's a good thing the balls thing cleared up. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. But, you know, as I was saying, I mean, I was really, I didn't know what I was going to do and how, you know, in terms of. Yes. Because yeah, you're right you out have, of the box. You have no fucking idea who you are when you're 19 anyway. You know? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But uh, I knew what I liked and, mm -hmm. and getting to actually meet and uh -huh. be encouraged by what you liked yeah, was a good. great boon. And, and then during the shit years, you know, when yeah. I was starving to death yeah. living in Boston. Yeah. It was just, it was always there. It was just like, well. Yeah, that's good. The first I thought it was really funny. It was really That's good. Yeah, cool you need those working. things. Yeah. If it's not that, it's the last good show. Right. When they suck, you say, wow, those people on Friday, they knew. <laughs> that's right. You know? Who was the guy from Boston? One of the comics was there when, when Gold, Goldthwait was still banging around in right. there and, and Sweeney. And he did a thing, he was an Irish guy. He didn't do, uh, from he Boston? Did, he didn't do comedy. You, and I'm not going to know his name if I hear it. But he would say, electricity. I know who you're yeah, talking electricity. about. Electricity. So he was there when I moved here. I just thought that was such a wonderful... Yeah, and everything he, he did had a And a he had sort of a rolling a, way of talking. A, a Wonderland was, thing. Like, yeah. He's not here. Mm -hmm. It was sort of Jonathan Winters. Oh, I'd love to have an hour of his best tape, you know, just yeah. to enjoy. I think he actually, like, works in, like... Community theater. Yeah, like I think that was more his stuff like that. Me used to yeah. you know, standing in front of a bunch of guys with blood lights. I still feel that. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm really, I'm yeah. very lucky because I've got to branch up and other yeah. things. But yeah. I was just working last week and uh, the club owner up in San Francisco and the club owner was a really good friend of mine, a really big supporter. And, yeah, you know, when he comes up to me Friday second show and he just goes, she's, I don't know, you seem really bored up there. Mm. I am. Mm, yeah. <laughs> there, you know, you get your writing spurts, and then you get you you lock down and do a yeah. great. Yeah. And then for about a month, you have this. Yeah. And then you break it apart and you start writing other stuff. Right, things. right. Yeah. Sometimes I I, I want to ask you this because <laughs> this is not for public consumption. Yeah. What, what though? <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm a professional comedian, and you are an amateur audience. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but they're always right. It's the Andrew Carnegie thing. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for doing this. I mean, when, sure, when they, no, when they said you want to come up and do it. my benefit as well, and when I found out it was yours, it was yeah. extra well, happy. Well, great, because I, I, like, pestered them to do it. And I'm, and I'm nervous about tomorrow night because I don't usually work theaters of that size, and that's not a snotty remark. That's just yeah, a, no, an actual reality. Yeah. And therefore, I'm nervous about that. And I'm nervous because I'm doing, I'm doing 20 minutes, but 10 of it. I've never done ever anywhere at all, <laughs> ever. Great. And that's what's great. I love that shit. Yeah. Fuck them. If you can't write it and be sure of it, and yeah. you miss a few maybe, but most of it's there. Well, didn't you used to like try out stuff on yeah, the Yeah, and Ed show? Sullivan, and it's Night Show. <laughs> it's Night Show always. But yeah. so, and, and Merv Griffin. I would, I, would, I would waste a week, and the day before, I would get out of my mother's kitchen, and I would write, okay, happy to be with her. Now going to say this. The day before, because there's something in me, I think we all have it, the writer has, it tells me, oh, you've got a week. One side of me says, you have a week. You should be working on this thing every day. There's another part of you that doesn't let you work because it says, it's only going to take you a day and a half when uh -huh. you really fucking get started. Your best tests have always been cram jobs. Yeah, and, and you learn that after a while, and you trust the, the lackadaisical yeah. early period. Well, the, the thing that got me in a lot of trouble was, I, this is actually a really big week for me. I, I'm here to interview you, but I wrote a pilot. Yeah, I saw that you were. I wrote a pilot for myself, for uh -huh. music. and it's just like they kept. Well, you're gonna wait for an official person to work with you, but in the meantime, keep working. Yeah. And I, yeah. I wrote it, and it got picked up, so Great. they're gonna make it, Great. and there's no other writer on and it. And you're here, you're here talking it up and selling it, like. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to. I mean, it's gonna get made. I want to get yeah. it picked up the series. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's on Fox, and I'm. Great. Fucking thrilled. Good, yeah, but it, it, it was like having writer deadlines. You have yeah. to have the new draft because I know you. I know yeah. Sam Simon really well. And, now you're up here in Aspen, you're actually at the point now where you get to do specials about your specials. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Good point. Um, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see this week. Well, there is a special that'll air on Friday on HBO that we'll do tomorrow night. Uh -huh. And it's a, it's a celebration of, as it were, um, my 40 years of comedy, 20 years on HBO. And uh, what we're doing is the first 20 minutes are like a bunch of clips of old TV appearances bridging from no beard 
short hair, suit and a tie, through the change and a little bit into the early beard years. Uh -huh. That's 20 early minutes. Early beard years. Yeah. And I, 20 minutes of that. And then it's I'm, like a Lyndon Johnson biography. <laughs> Just different right volumes. Well, Doris Kern is good when should be here. Uh, and then secondly, I, I'm going to do uh, 20 minutes on the stage. Uh -huh. Ten of it is brand new. I have never, you'll like this, I've never done it before anywhere. I've so, written it carefully. <laughs> but tune in. Tune in. And then another 10 minutes of things, uh, things I've never done on, on video or, or CD, but they've been in the theater act for a while. Uh -huh. So there's 20 minutes of that. And then Jon Stewart is going to uh, interview me. It's kind of like a Q&A interview thing to right. fill out the hour. And that hour, I think, is called George Conlon, 40 Years uh, of Comedy. That's great. Now, you're from Harlem. Yeah, West Harlem. White Harlem, we used to call it. Is it still White Harlem? Yep. All right. Yeah. And uh, you live in New York. Harlem to Aspen. Mm. Not a big leap. Doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> no. Do you find oh, the people are the same everywhere you go? Or? Oh, yeah. If you got the tall ones, you got the ones you don't like. No, I, I, I didn't know where you were going with your question, and I'm really stupid and inarticulate and don't know what to say. No <laughs> well, let's answer. Let's go back and do it again. Okay, okay. Because um, I, and maybe by this time I'll figure out where I'm what going. What the with question it as well. was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. George, fudge. Fuck. Go! Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Those guys. Yeah. Um, you know, you, uh, for, a, for a, a person that started out, uh, uh, was raised in Harlem, mm -hmm. to now finding yourself uh, celebrating your career in, of all places, Aspen, yeah. I can't think of two more antithetical places than Harlem and Aspen. Aspen, way too many whites. Way too many whites. Way too many whites. In fact, go around the world, way too many whites, even though they're outnumbered. Way too many. <laughs> well, I can't wait until the brown and the black people begin showing up in the big war canoes <laughs> to get their stuff back. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Isn't that going to be great? Because they're already showing up in England, you know. All that colony stuff, the chickens are coming home to roost. Hey, the food stump, man! <laughs> the food stump! <laughs> they're all going back. That's and it'll happen because the big blue-eyed man from the north is going to have to pay the price. <laughs> That's right. If, uh, uh, symbolically, we should all wear pilgrim suits. When yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you have um, you have your special uh, coming up that you're doing this week. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. uh, 20 minutes of uh, material, some new stuff, new and, stuff and, and 20 of uh, look back. Yeah. And then you're doing another hour in 1998. Eight. Yeah, right. 1998. That'll be called Lone Nut. <laughs> George Carlin, Lone Nut. <laughs> Lee or, or Lee Harvey Carlin. Yes, <laughs> naming them is the most fun. <laughs> yeah, that'll be uh, and uh, and I might use a little of that 10 minutes we talked about. I might use that uh -huh. in there because it's I like it so much. It's yeah. about how full of shit everybody is. Yeah in the whole country uh -huh. and it names them all oh, great. so it's you know it didn't take a lot of writing but <laughs> no, no but I'm so I'm so happy with it I know I'll use it then too and and yeah and I'll do that show and, and that'll be my 10th that'll be my 10th uh -huh. HBO well, and, but you intend to keep going yeah yeah so, I don't know about that form you know I want to do some Broadway stuff that has, is sort of a blend of regular stand-up like what Lily a little more yeah. toward Lily in other words a little motion on stage some characters a little uh, staging a little light thing not a lot at right. first just enough to make it a step. Right. And show them some other flavors. That's all you ever want to do. And that is just about showing off. Wait till you see size. this. I can also do this. And I've never used my characters. Really. No. I've used voices in the background. And when I, you know, Al Sleep was one and a couple of those guys. But I've never really gotten into the people that are living in here. The wonderful <laughs> fucking people. Dana, you know because your father was exactly like this. <laughs> yes, they certainly do. So I want to let them out. And I will. It's going to be fun. Uh, now, we first met when I started out. I was 19 years old. And we met backstage at Springfield Symphony Hall. Springfield? Mass. And, yeah. You don't, you don't remember that. No, no, no. Okay, okay, let me refresh your memory. There was a, yeah. And then there was a big fire backstage, and that beam fell on you? And, and I was the guy that pulled you out of the fire. Remember that? Fuck and you, no. No, yes, yes. It, you remember the fire, though. And then at the hospital, I was the only one with a matching blood type, and I, and I had the life-saving transfusion. Oh, you're pulling my leg. Now you remember. Because then you were so grateful you had me live in your house. Remember from from 91 to, to 94, I was the guy down in the... Can I go out of here? Can I leave? I was the guy in the basement of your house. The black and white check tile. Medic. No. Medic. No, it happened. <laughs> well, it was... Uh, well, I wasn't... I didn't think you'd remember the concert, but I thought you'd remember the... Am I hooked to something? No, you can just go. It was me. I know... I know where you live. Me. 
You know, you 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 had your career. I'm still working on that. <laughs>